Hello everybody, Digital Duke, and welcome back to my channel, and today I have for you the video that I promised you like two weeks ago, three weeks ago maybe, but I never ended up making it. The uh, reason why I've been off is I've been helping a friend create a server, and I never actually got up to uh, making this video, so I'm doing it now though. So basically this is going to be my Green Eyes deck profile, and I have uh, decided, hey, why don't we just... Uh, Take all the like most prevalent decks from the from the server, and I uh, put them up as profiles, just to show you like, oh hey, this is actually what this deck fully can do. Um, so basically, we have this is Green Eyes. This is the one that won the most recent tournament, uh, tournament twelve, and this is actually my very first deck I have ever cre uh, created for like a tournament purpose. Now there was one before that, but. We don't talk about that one, because I didn't know what balance was at that time, as probably most of us didn't know, aside from the people who were competitive, but hey, that's completely, completely fine. But anyway, I digress. So basically, Green Eyes is, as you can see by the extra deck, a fusion-based deck that focuses on fusion summoning with Green Eyes Fusion. Now, the deck has gone over some revisions over the year. Um, and I, there's actually three versions of it. There's one where it was the original version that I used that almost won the first tournament. There's the second one that I used in the recent video, and I never really used it for any other tournaments, I don't think. I don't think I ever took it out. And then the third one, which currently has not been submitted yet, but I'm giving all of you a sneak peek before I actually submit it. So first we have v1 version 1 this is the one i used for the original tournament this is the original list um and uh yeah let's just get into it so uh basically first up we have three copies of green eyes alternative jade dragon and if you don't know what green eyes is it's basically red eyes plus blue eyes plus a little bit of custom goodness equals good deck um, so, alternative jade dragon special summon by revealing one green eyes jade dragon in the hand except when I created this card, I did not re realize that Alternative Dragon, I don't think it could be Normal Summon or set from what I remember. This thing can, for some reason. Why you Normal Summon this, I have no idea. But I put three in here just because I thought it was cool to have an alternate form for the main monster, if you will. So basically, Special Summon revealing a Jade Dragon in the hand and then was destroyed... Special summon one green eyes monster from the hand, and you can only use that effect once per turn. And yes, it's that bad of a text, or I didn't include the name. This is how bad I was when I was starting off, okay? Um, and now most of the other cards are going to be fixed text, aside from, like, one. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. So, we then have triple copies of green eyes guardian dragon. You can normal summon this card without tree, but its attack becomes 1200. It's tapped. And then you can special summon it from your hand by tripping a green eyes monster. Then once per turn you can decrease its level by 3 and add one green eyes monster from the deck to the hand. And then if it's destroyed, you can special summon a green eyes monster from your graveyard or that is face up banished. And this one's kind of a extender, if you will. This helps get the fusion pieces in the hand, the more specific ones. Um, and I'll get to you the reason why you want to do that. Um... But basically, Guardian Dragon is an integral piece of this deck, and I would not run less than three. Uh, so next we have triple copies of Green Eyes Hunter. Uh, this one is mm, arguably interesting. It's anti-dragon, technically, but uh, its effect is once per turn, you can equip one dragon monster on the field to this card's max of one. So you can equip your opponents. Um, and then this card gains attack with the half the attack of the equipped monster. Once per turn, you can set one monster, equip this card to the graveyard, special summon a green eyes monster from the deck. Then if the monster special summon was green eyes jade dragon, you could add a green eyes card from the deck to the hand. So it rewards you for summoning the vanilla. Um, and I, I, I like that about some of the blue eyes cards, so I just decided, hey, I'll put that on a couple. Um, so this is one of them. Next we have trip copies of green eyes lupin. This is probably the best card in the deck to start out with, special summon from the hand by discarding a card. Then once per turn you can banish one card from the graveyard, add one green eyes spell slash trap from the deck to the hand. Then you can banish it from the graveyard to add a green eyes spell slash trap from grave to hand. Then you can only use each effect once per turn. This thing 
actually used to be way better. It got eroded. Because you see, the first time I put this in, none of them were hard ones per turn. Second time, this, the V2, it had a hard ones per turn. And then for the 12th tournament, I eroded it again to where I had to banish a card from the graveyard to add from deck to hand. This thing has gone through one of the most biggest revisions ever. I've gone, I've eroded this, what, three times or something like that? It, 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 it's insanity how much I've eroded this one card, but he's good. He's good. He's not, you know, super broken or whatever, but, like, he's good. Um, then we have triple copies of Green Eye Strategist. This is the weird one. <laughs> um, so if you control another Green Eyes monster, this card cannot be targeted for an attack. Once per turn, you can take a Green Eyes monster from your deck and place it in your spell slash trap zone as a connected spell. And you can target a Green Eyes monster in your spell slash trap zone as a card one card, special summon that target. Uh, and then if this card is destroyed, destroy all Green Eyes monsters in your spell slash trap zones. You can only use easy effect once per turn. This is the weird one. I didn't know why I went Crystal Beast route with this one. Maybe because I was just kind of running out of effects ideas, but like, hey, I did it. Um, so anyway, next we have Triple Copies of Green Eyes Vampire Slayer. This thing used to be a lot better too, so... Normal Summoner Green Eyes, special it from hand. And then once per turn, you can discard a card and reveal one monster in your extra deck. Draw two cards, only use each effect once per turn. Notice that that is not, uh, like you reveal a Green Eyes in your extra deck. This thing is getting eroded, I swear it. Um, but like, this thing is like, this thing is insanity, just for the draw two... Um, but it never used to actually have the you can only use each effect once per turn. So technically speaking, get multiple on the field, you get multiple cards if you can discard, that is. Um, see, so yeah, this thing is good. Um, this is why we check our decks on the server in a deck format. This thing is good in green eyes, but not broken enough to where, like, it warrants a ban or limit. Um, only because Green Eyes is not the best of decks, uh, currently. Even though it did win, um, it almost lost. <laughs> oh my gosh, that final match versus the Crystals was amazing. But anyway, uh, so this thing, you run three of these because it's consistency. And, uh, we... I'll get to strategies in, in, like, in the ratios on the moment, how they change. Uh, triple copies of Maiden with Eyes of Green. It's always treated as a green eyes card, unlike Maiden with Eyes of Blue. Uh, this card is added to your hand by drawing. You can reveal this card and special summon this card. If this card is targeted for attack, uh, or by a card effect, you can switch this card to defense mode, negate the attacker effect. Then you can special summon one green eyes jade dragon from your hand deck or graveyard, and you can banish this card from your graveyard and add one green eyes monster from your deck to your hand. I'll use each effect once per turn. As you can see, this is when I didn't do the abbreviation GY. Didn't use GY. Um, so, so yeah, this is how, like, all this text is. But it's fine-ish right now. I'll probably fix it later. Um, so, yeah, that's the uh, main with us green. You run three of these. Pretty good. For, for a dump target or anything like that, it's good. Uh, then we have triple copies of... The dragon himself, Green Eyes Jade Dragon. This this boy, this boy, and this this flavor text. While the red eyes black dragon and the blue eyes white dragon fought destructive battles, this dragon was keeping to itself and protecting its forest until one day when a blast from the two dragons hit the forest which this dragon was protecting, which sent it into a violent rage. This thing is basically higher defender lower attack, but still good stats. So basically, I wanted something that, like, could beat Red Eyes at Attack Prowess, but also could beat Blue Eyes without, like, you know, in, like, taking the attack slot above 3,000, because Blue Eyes is supposed to be, anyway, the only vanilla with 3k that's level 8, but, uh, actually, I think it is the only one with 3k that's level 8 currently. I could be wrong. That's a normal. Vanilla. Vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. That's what it, Vanilla normal monster. Uh, and I was like, eh, 3200 defense seems pretty good if I lower the attack power a bit. So yeah. You have to run triple copies of this card. There is no way you're playing a Green Eyes deck without triple Green Eyes Jade Dragon. He's like Blue Eyes. He's like Blue Eyes. He's that important where you have to run three copies. Um... Any less than three, and the deck becomes way less consistent and way less explosive. 
Uh, so next we have two copies of green with Envy. It's always treated as green as a card. Once per turn, will you control less monsters than your opponent? You can special summon a green as monster from your hand. Then if it's destroyed, destroy a card in the field. This thing, you can technically pop it with your own effects if, like, you need something that doesn't target, but, like, honestly, you legitimately could set this as a bait like you do with Waking the Dragon or something like that. Set it. Your opponent blows everything up nonchalantly with, like, Lightning Storm, Harpy's Feather Duster, and all of a sudden, oh, hey! Now I get to pop a card! Yay! So that's that comes up sometimes, but not really. Um, Actually, it did in one of the duels in the 12th tournament, but that, that was only once. Uh, next we have triple copies of Green Eyes Forest. Uh, the forest itself! Uh, Green Eyes monsters you control cannot be targeted by card effects, and it can your opponent can negate that effect to the end phase by discarding a card. So they can discard a card on their turn to negate the target protection. And once per turn, you can add a Green Eyes monster to deck your hand, but for the rest of this turn, you cannot set cards. If this card is destroyed, you can add a Green Eyes card from your graveyard to your hand. Um, you play triple of this because field spell, field spell's good, blah blah blah. Um, the funny enough, this is one of the more less important cards, if you will, in the deck. On the grand scheme of things, there's one that, like, really is not needed anymore because it sucks. But... Basically, the forest, you play it, but basically set your stuff before you activate this. Because if you don't, you're in a world of hurt. So yeah, triple forest, just it's just because it's good. Uh, but it's not like, you know, super, super, super broken. Uh, next, we have the basically the main card. Aside from Jade Dragon, we have triple copies of Green Eyes Fusion. This thing was ironic. <laughs> Um, so basically, Confusion Summon a Green Eyes, uh, by sending Monster Field, Hand, or Deck to the Graveyard, but if the Fusion Monster you'd summon would have more than 3,000 attack, you cannot use monsters from the deck. Uh, so basically, it's a situational polymerization. Um, and then while this card is in your Graveyard, you can banish a card for your Graveyard, add this card to your hand, only use its effect, once per turn. Um, now that, like, it's, I don't want to say, like, um, it's not bad, it's not bad at all. Uh, sending from deck, that's great, including in this deck where some of the cards have graveyard effects. It is fan flippantastic. Um, and so, yeah, we got, like, uh, I want to say, hmm, there was, like, oh, I, I actually scrolled down here, uh, preview. Um, so basically, this thing used to be eroded in the sense that the fusion effect used to be once per turn, and the deck was way less explosive, and we decided, hey, we can buff it just a bit by saying the fusion effect is not once per turn, because there's so many ways to get it back, but at the same time, you can't get, like, you know, the most powerful fusion out in the deck turn one. Um, and then we have the infamous card that I for some reason forgot to put in the deck that I used in the last tournament, two copies of Green Eyes Super Fusion. This fusion summons the Green Eyes from the extra work for banishing monsters from the field and or graveyard as fusion material. Uh, and you banish the card for a graveyard, return one Green Eyes Fusion monster from your graveyard to the extra deck, then you can draw one card. Uh, and I'll use each effect once per turn. Super Fusion is important, really only to either A, extend or B get the boss monster out and in which case you need to save at least one um super fusion's important but like technically you can cut it because as you saw I won with it without it um but like sometimes it's a brick honestly I'm th maybe I'll drop this card at some point but like currently it's good enough to where like I just like keep it and then we have the black sheep Two copies of Green Eyes Sword. This card can only be equipped to level with a Green Eyes monster. The monster equipped with this card gains a thousand in attack and gains the piercing ability. If this card is in graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Uh, banish one card from your graveyard. Add this card to your hand. This card sucks. Um, you, I, I used it in the first original uh, rendition, and it did come up a couple times, but I never used it past then. And like. Yeah, and also it's specifically level 4, so it, the, at best it equips to Hunter, giving him 28 base. 
So, like, it's not horrible, but it's also not warranted in any version of Green Eyes ever anymore. You don't run this card. So then we have one copy of Green Eyes Destruction. When a Green Eyes monster is special summoned to your field, place one green counter on this card. You can remove any number, amount of green uh, counters from this card. Special enough for your deck. One Green Eyes monster levels equal to or less than the amount of counters removed. You run one of this because it's something to get the extenders out, but you only run one since it's way too bricky at more. Um... Then we have triple copies of Roar of the Green Eyes Counter Trap. When a card your opponent uh, controls targets a Green Eyes monster, you control with the card effect. Negate the activation to destroy that card. It's only on target. Then you can banish this card for a graveyard, special summon one of Green Eyes monster from your graveyard, or that is banished. And then you can only use one effect of Roar of the Green Eyes per turn and link once that turn. This is important, sometimes not for the protection effect, but actually for the graveyard effect. It's a good, like, goods tar uh, dump, or like, you know, with Lupin. You can just discard it off of Lupin, and then you have something there. Um, so yeah, that's Roar. And that's the main deck. Now we have the extra deck. We have one copy of Green Narcacuga. And Monster Hunter fans, yes, this is literally just a Green Narcacuga. So it's Jade Dragon plus Hunter. And that's always true. It's your Green Eyes card. They can also special summon Green Argakuga by tributing one Green Eyes Hunter you control equipped with Green Eyes Jade Dragon, in which case you do not use Polymerization. Once per turn, you can increase the attack of him by 500 and decrease his defense by 500. And then, if it's destroyed, you can special summon one Green Eyes Hunter from your graveyard. So, this thing was just because I needed something that would be able to, like, get to a certain, like, attack power. Like, it'll, it can get high. But also it has no protection on its own. So, yeah. Then we have triple copies of probably the... I want to say the MVP of the deck in some cases. Green Eyes Armored Dragon. Uh, it has It's Jade Dragon plus Guardian Dragon. And since it has 3500 attack, you have to get the cards in your hand or on your field. So once per turn, you can discard one card, activate one of its effects. Um, so if, it was, if the card discard was a monster... This card can attack twice. If it was a spell discarded, target card on the field destroyed. If it was a trap, add one green eyes spell slash trap from your graveyard to your hand. And then if it's discarded, I mean, if it's destroyed, you can special summon one of the monsters used for the fusion summon of this card. If any are in the graveyard, you can only use each effect once per turn. I, for some reason, cut that off for some reason. That's weird. Um, I'll have to fix that. So... Then we have two copies of Green Eyes and Nature Dragon. Um, it's Jade Dragon plus Lupin. Then once per turn, you can banish one Green Eyes monster from your graveyard, destroy one card in the field. Then if this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon uh, one of your banished Green Eyes monsters, and you can only use each effect once per turn. This thing could pop itself and technically do its self effect. That has come up a few times, um, but like it's not like you know the ideal play. Um, so then we have, uh, one copy of Green Eyes Nuclear Dragon. Hunter Jade Dragon, so it's like Nargakuga, but this is the evil version. During each end phase in which this card is still on the field, place one radioactive counter on each other monster on the field. Monsters with radioactive counters with 1,000 attack points for each counter on them. With this card is destroyed, destroy all monsters in the column that this card was in, and any monsters in the two columns adjacent to the column that this card was in before it was destroyed. That is a mouthful. I gotta fix the wording on this. Uh, but I never thought I'd use it, so I, it never really came up. And when it's sent to the graveyard, remove all radioactive counters from the field. Yay! All the radioactive energy is just gone when the dragon goes away! Um, so yeah, this is interesting, I guess. Um, don't really have anything to say. Now, this is one of the play starters, I guess, if you will. One of the first fusions you normally make. Uh, Green Eyes Soldier. It is a. It, it requires Vampire Slayer and Hunter. Then, once per turn, you can send one Green Eyes monster from your deck to the graveyard and inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the attack of the sent monster. Then, if this card is destroyed, you can special summon one Green Eyes Jade Dragon from your deck. You can only use each effect once per turn. This is normally used just for the dump. Sometimes you legitimately just dump the, the Maiden with this. You dump the Maiden. 
and then like you use maiden effect off of that since it was sent and then um sometimes you just go for damage and you dump an alternative because why would you dump a jade dragon um don't dump the jade dragons <laughs> that's my that's my one piece of advice for you never dump jade dragons into the graveyard from the deck off of soldier or any other card that's not fusions um only do it unless like you can get him back um but other than that yeah and then we have two copies of green eyes ultimate dragon um enough said it's 5500 attack 4k defender jade dragon plus six green my sponsors it is it is a hydra and this thing is good just because it's a beat stick and if anybody saw the last tournament of the tournament finals that duel was funny because ultimate dragon ended up winning me the tournament along with the will of the green eyes goddess which i will get to um but yeah ultimate dragon it's just basically blue eyes ultimate dragon but better um so yeah then we have uh lord of the green this is this is one of the boss monsters. 3800 attack, so you can't use monsters from the deck. And this one cries Jade Dragon, Guardian Dragon, Strategist, and Maiden. That is very specific materials for a reason. Um, when, when this card is fusion summoned, you can special summon Green Eyes Monster from Graveyard. This card cannot be targeted by card effects. And once per turn, you can destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number of Green Eyes Monsters you can currently control. If this card is banished, you can special summon two Green Eyes Monsters from your deck with different names, you can only use each effect of Lord of the Green once per turn. This thing is not considered a Green Eyes card, um, so technically you cannot destroy one monster if you just have it on the field. You have to get another one. So yeah, that's uh, Lord. And finally, we have the one that I don't run for one reason. Uh, we have uh, Neo Green Eyes Ultimate Dalagon. Um Three alternative Jade Dragons. Plus seven green eyes monsters, and this card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each, but it can't attack the turn it's summoned. I don't know why I thought this card was okay. This card is terrible currently. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna leave that one alone. Like, technically speaking, if you get it on the field, and it's like stays on the field, then great. You have basically what is Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, but 2k more attack. But arguably worse, because it can't flip anything into defense position. So yeah. Run this at your own discretion. And finally, the final card we have. The... Probably the best card in the deck, only for its effect. We have Atalanta, Hero of Green. Say, 2000 attack, 8k defender. That requires Ultimate Dragon, Armored Dragon, Soldier, Lord of the Green, Nature Dragon, and Nargakuga. You... All of those are fusions. All of the fusions, basically. When this card is fusion summoned, shuffle all cards in both players' graveyard fields and hands into the deck except this card. This is a reset the game state, but no. The reason why I put this here is because this is so hard to get out, you're more than likely never going to see it before you either A, win, or B, die. Then once per current turn, you can destroy this card, special summon green eyes monster from your extra deck. In my original builds, I was planning on going from Atalanta into Ultimate Dragon. And yeah, that was the combo. 5,500 attack directly, basically. That was the ultimate plan. And that normally would have quote-unquote won the game. But like, yeah. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's Green Eyes V1. And Green Eyes V2 is different for a couple reasons, but like... I'm not going to go over all the cards again. I'm just going to, like you said, say ratios for the stuff that's still there, and then we'll say the new stuff. So the new stuff, we have Forest Mage of the Green Eyes. If you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. Once per turn, you can fuse with some Green Eyes fusion monster. You use the monster you control in your hand as fusion material. You can banish this card from your graveyard, add one Green Eyes spell slash trap from your graveyard to your hand. I'm going to use these fetch each effect once per turn. I use this because I needed a monster that can fusion summon, because sometimes if the fusion got negated, I'd just be screwed. Um, so yeah, we we needed something like that. So two Forest Mage. Then we have two Alternative Dragon now. Only two. And then we have the new one, Green Eyes Griffin. You can special summon this card from your hand by banishing monster from Graveyard, whose total attack is equal to or greater than 3,000. 
Once per turn, you can discard a card, spell someone green of one of your banished green eyes monster, but destroy it during the end phase. This thing I needed recursion, so I put this in here, and it ended up being a pretty key piece in the again tournament twelve. But um, other than that, yeah, this thing has gotten me some game whims only because Green Eyes needed a way to get its banished monsters back, and it never had that. So, uh, yeah, we have Griffin, and then, obviously, like I said, Triple Guardian. We had Triple Hunter, just because Triple Lupin, because, yes, Triple Strategist, Triple Vampire Slayer. Then we have two Mate of the Green Eyes. This card is actually semi-limited on the server. Uh, you can special summon this card from your hand by discarding one card. You can discard up to two cards. Your opponent discards ca uh, cards equal to the amount you discard from your hand. This is... This sometimes comes up, but not a lot. This thing legitimately can get your bricks out of your hand, but at the same time, sometimes I just don't even bother. You could discard, uh, you could banish the card from your graveyard, send your entire hand to the graveyard, then draw cards equal to the amount set. Um, this sometimes comes up as well. I don't use a discard because it doesn't get me advantage in any way aside from the discard from the opponent's hand. But I'm afraid that my opponent will be playing a graveyard heavy deck, and so sometimes I just use this for the hand effect, like the uh, the hand recycle, the hand fixer effect. And then we have Triple Maiden. Then we have two Priestess of the Green Eyes. You can special summon this card from your hand by banishing one Green Eyes monster for graveyard. Once per turn, you can shuffle one Green Eyes monster that is banished into the deck, gain life points equal to half of the attack of that shuffle monster. Banish this card from your graveyard. Destroy one spell slash trap on the field. Only use these effect once per turn. I needed a way to gain life points, but also this was also part of the thing with Griffin. Like I said, it needed banishment recovery, and so I did. And uh, triple Jade Dragon. And now we're running triple Envy, funny enough. I don't know why. I think I was just like, yeah, three of everything, except for like a couple things. Triple Forest, triple Fusion. Then the infamous card, one will of the Green Eyes Goddess. Target one Green Eyes monster you control until you the, your next standby phase. The target monster cannot be destroyed by battle. is unaffected by your opponent's card effects. Also, you take no battle damage. The battle is involving that targeted monster. I needed something that gave Ultimate Dragon a chance. And so I made this just because. Now, this card is really, really good, but... Once I run out of cards that actually can recycle this back, which, by the way, um, counting the ones that, like, I can see anyway and remember, there's about five. You normally use a couple of those to revive the fusion, and the fact that you have to recycle them back is really tedious, and sometimes you won't be able to get them back. So, I say that I looped this card about three times in the finals of the last tournament three times or something like that. Um, but again, this thing can technically be a brick. Uh, if you just have to set pass, it technically can be a brick. Other than that, like, yeah, it, like, gets you a turn, but I actually, this, this hasn't saved me in several instances. Then we're playing Triple Destruction. Uh, cause again, at that time, I was like, I need deck space, I'm playing three of everything, Roar. And then, Triple Roar. Um, and also the, the Super Fusion is here just to show that I actually did have it in this deck, but for some reason it was taken out. And this is actually the list that I used in the tournament, uh, last tournament. And then we have one Atalanta. Then we have Goddess of the Green Eyes. Ten Green Eyes monsters with different names. This card cannot be sent to the graveyard by card effects. Very specific. Once per turn, you can special summon Green Eyes monster from your graveyard, or that is face up banished. Once per turn, you can send one card. Your opponent controls the graveyard, and then if this card is destroyed, you can add two Green Eyes monsters from your graveyard to your hand. Only use each effect once per turn. Um, I never get this out because I don't know how many. Times I've, I, I've only gotten this out once, I think, in the entire lifespan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 names. 12 names. And I can't fusion this from the deck. I can't use uh, deck stuff for this. Now, technically, I could super fusion it, but since, you know, I didn't have super fusion in the last tournament, I couldn't summon it. This card... Is good, but it can be negated, it can be destroyed, all that sort of stuff. 
Uh, one Otakuga, two armored, two nature, one radioactive, one sniper. This is new. Strategist plus uh, vampire slayer. Once per turn, you can destroy one card on the field. If it was a monster, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the destroyed monster's attack. And if it was a spell slash trap card, inflict a thousand. You can only use this effect once per turn. Uh, I just needed a pop, and that's all. It's it's a small monster. It can be beaten over relatively easily. So, uh, yeah, I just needed a pop. Put this in. Uh, triple Soldier. Then we have one Ultimate Dragon, one Lord, one Neo, one Neo Ultimate. Um, so, yeah, this is a V2. This is probably the more consistent version. Again, I don't know why Neo, what Neo is doing here because I don't even have three alternative Jade Dragon anymore. So, uh, yeah, on that note, I'm going to go to the final version. This is the sneak peek version. This is the version three. So, first, so, so basically, I haven't shown this to like anybody except for like maybe one or two people. So, yeah, this is the first time this is basically going in public. First, we have triple copies of Archer of the Green Eyes. During the main phase, you can normal summon a Green Eyes monster in addition to your normal summon slash set. Once per turn, you can send this card from the field of the graveyard. Special summon one level 6 or higher Green Eyes monster for your deck. You can only use each effect once per turn. And it can be treated as a substitute for any monster specifically listed on a Green Eyes fusion monster. That's a recurring theme in all the new ones. A lot of them have like the they can be substituted for one specifically named. I realize that the thing that made Green Eyes so quote unquote bad, but not really, Green Eyes is not bad. Um, uh, but like more inconsistent was that I never I ran out of names, so basically I'm remedying it by having a couple cards that means uh, treated as one substitute. So then we have two Force Mage, one alternative now. So we went from three to two to one. We're going down. <laughs> Next thing you know, it's going to be cut out completely. So then we have two. Green Eyes Champion. If a Green Eyes monster you control is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, special summon it from the hand. And once per turn, you can pay a thousand life points. I have a Green Eyes monster for your deck to your hand. And if this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you special a Green Eyes monster from your hand or graveyard, except Champion, or use each effect once per turn. This thing, from what I've been testing with, it actually does come up a couple times, like the special summon itself effect. But sometimes, like, you just don't draw it, and you don't want to search this thing. It's just, like, if you get it in your hand, you get it, and uh, hopefully you can play it. But if you can't, then, uh, sucks to be you! Um, so, okay, there's that. And then we have triple copies of Green Eyes Demon Slayer. <laughs> um, so, if you control Green Eyes boss, you can special summon from the hand, and this card is special summon, you can send one Green Eyes card from the deck to the graveyard. Only use each effect once per turn, it can be treated as a substitute for any monster specifically that's on a fusion. Um, this is a... I just, I just wanted something like that had the foolish effect, but like, you know, it's only on the special summon of it, so technically speaking, you can't get that off, but like, you probably are gonna get it off, but like, there's not a lot of ways to fusion summon, like, special summon, like, in this deck, aside from the fusion monsters, so... Be with, do with this as you will. Then we have uh, triple copies of Guardian Dra Dragon. Uh, two, actually, two Guardian Dragon. Uh, triple Hunter, triple Lupin. Then we have triple Green Eyes Rune Bearer. If you control a Green Eyes Fusion Monster, you can special summon it from the hand. Then once per turn, if all monsters are Green Eyes, you can have one Green Eyes Spell Slash Trap from the deck to your hand. Only use each effect once per turn can be treated as substitute for any fusion. Um... I wanted something that was, like, Lupin, but more restrictive. So, this thing, like, is just blanket. You have to be playing Green Eyes in order to use this. Then we have one Strategist. Finally cut this down to one. Then we have triple copies of Green Eyes Swashbuckler. If this card has normal summon, you can special summon level 4 lower Green Eyes monster from your deck, except Swashbuckler. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can add a Green Eyes monster from your deck, from your graveyard to your hand, except Swashbuckler. Only use each effect once per turn. Substitute effect. Um, I wanted something that like was more of a normal summon of the deck, because the deck really didn't have a normal summon monster, the starter, if you will. I just wanted something like this to like have the starter. Then we have one Vampire Slayer, two Maid, two Priestess, triple Jade, two Envy. We went back down to two. Two Forest, two Fusion, two Super Fusion, one Howl, 
Target when Green Eyes Monster you control this turn, it cannot be destroyed by battle, and any monster that battles it is returned to the hand at the end of the damage step. You can only use this effect once per turn. If a Green Eyes Monster you control will be destroyed by opponent's card effect, banish the card for the Green instead. Howl is basically, um, will, but actually like a kind of a battle trap, if you will. I wanted something that was more like along the lines of, I guess, Super Rush Headlong, I think is what it's called, like the one in Duel Links or whatever. So like, yeah, I, I, I put that in. So then we have one Destruction, two Roar. Then finally, Extra Deck. One Atalanta, one Goddess, one Narcacuga, two Armored Dragon. Then we have one, two Green Eyes Knight. Three Green Eyes Monsters. When this card is fused somebody, you can shuffle up to two Green Eyes Monsters from your graveyard of decks for an equal amount of cards in the field. If this card is destroyed and set to the graveyard, you can special them one level six or higher Green Eyes Monster from your graveyard, except Knight. You can only use each effect Knight once per turn. Um, I wanted a fusion that was a little bit generic, but like at the same time, like, you know, three. Um, so technically speaking, you can get this out by using it for the deck, but I've actually had situations where this guy does not help really at all. Um, yeah, sure, you can get the pops, but sometimes it's just better to go with something else. And then we have one Nature Dragon, one Sniper, two Soldier, one Ultimate, one Lord. Then we have the final card, one Green Eyes Warlock. Yes, you're seeing this right, it's an Xyz monster. Two level 8 monsters. If this card is Xyz Summon, you can target one Green Eyes Specialist Trap in the graveyard, add it to your hand. Once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card, special summon one of your banished Green Eyes monsters. You can only use each of these effects once per turn. If you have Fusion Summon a Green Eyes monster, you can also detach appropriate materials from this card as Fusion material. Yes, this is like Mubeta Fafnir, but for Fusions, but Green Eyes only. Um, it's not freaking ritual summon specifically any ritual monster detached from it because why not let's make dry trons just that much better they definitely needed the help can you tell that i don't like move Ada? um this is an archetypal specific um one but like you don't get the like full effect of it like the two from it unless you have to Unless, like, you decide not to use the special summon for the Banished Stone, but I don't know why you would would not do that. Um, don't know why you wouldn't summon from the from the Banished Stone. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, that was everything. That's the Green Eyes deck. If you want a combo tutorial, I guess. If you want the combo tutorial, then I guess I could technically give you one. Uh, if you wanted that, let's say like. I don't know, three likes or something like that, because, like, my videos haven't been getting, like, my, a lot of likes as of late. So let's just say three likes, and, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make a Green Eyes combo tutorial, and, uh, yeah. So, the next episode of this series will be the Crystals, and I'm just gonna tell you now, there is so many revisions of Crystals that I legitimately don't know what exactly was ran in the original version and all versions after that, it was revised so many times that I'm just going to show you a couple sample variants. Basically, the one of them, one of them that I came up with, and the other that the actual, the actual version currently that was used in the tournament. And uh, we're going to go with that. But yeah. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. This was Green Eyes' uh, deck profile, and also uh, I guess like progression, if you will. Um, so, yeah, if you like this video, please like, uh, subscribe if you liked it, uh, comment down below, uh, what, what decks do you want us, what decks would you like me to make next, cause, like, I'll do, I'll redo the, I'll do streams, well, I'm, I'll make cards on streams if you guys want, are into that, just, like, you know, see my thought process and everything like that, I'll help anybody who comes on to our Discord server, uh, link will, uh, for that will be in the description below. Um, anybody who really wants to, like, just come on and learn about custom cards, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, we, we're not really active currently. We have, like, what, a couple members currently active, but, like, you know, we're, we're, we're getting back into, the, like, the whole active community sort of thing. It's slow, but we're getting there. We all have lives. Everybody has problems, we just we just let them deal with it, and if they come back, then great, if they don't, then oh well, glad to have them while we did. But anyway, 
Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye